Hold up, bitch. Hold up, bitch. It's Rick B for the motherfucking record tuning in. 75 now, boy. Stop and stay entertainment. Really going down through that. You did. It's on the way right now. It's really going down right now. Right now. Got to smash with a can right now. Got to smash on the gas right now. Got a big fat pain right now. Try to jack get blamed right now. Right now, go download it, go stream it right now on all streaming platforms. Rick B, Action Pack, OG Action, my bad, OG Action. Produced by Matrix, you know what I mean? It's the first ever episode. Going down through there, that's all we're going to do, go down through there a couple of times. About shit that's going on in the crazy world that we got going on, man. Shout out to all the motherfucking hustlers, all the go-getters around the world. You know what I mean? The real trail niggas fucking with me, man. You now tuned in for the record. Rick B TV, whatever the fuck you want to call this first episode going motherfucking me down, nigga. So let's just get into it, man. First thing I want to talk about is that goddamn, uh, let me get to it. Shit, some bullshit, bro. First episode, give me, forgive me. First episode. Oh, we're going down through there. You already know I got what the fuck I was looking for. I had to get my notes. I'm turning into a little journalist around this bitch. Stop and stay entertained. First thing I want to talk about is this goddamn uh, Derek Chauvin, Chauvin, whatever the fuck his name is. Bitch got 22 and a half years. My opinion, that shit not enough motherfucking time. It's good that they, they it's good time because they don't even convict the motherfucking laws, but the fact that they convicted the law and we got some years up out there, bitch, is good. But as far as that shit, hell nah. I know niggas that did less than that and got more than that. You dig what I'm saying? So that's some bullshit. Fuck Derek Chauvin, 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 whatever the fuck his name is. Fuck that nigga. You know what I mean? In my opinion, everybody got one. You did. I mean, second thing I want to talk about is this goddamn nigga. It was a nigga at a motherfucking stove. This nigga won 30 bands off a of scratch off. This nigga won 30 bands off a of scratch off. He buys a $20,000 chain just to get that whole snatch. You know what I mean? Now, goddamn me. I, I know I ain't the roughest, toughest nigga in the neighborhood, goddamn me, but nigga ain't snatching my shit, bro. You tripping. You don't spend 20 bands on the chain. You ain't spend none on no motherfucking burner. You ain't got, you ain't got, you ain't spend 200, 300 on a little throwaway something. Niggas like, goddamn, like, you spend all that money on a motherfucking chain just to get that whole snatch. And you was in the store that you wanted the money for. You know what I mean? So first of all, why the fuck did you buy 20? You hit for 30. Why would you spend 20 on one thing? That ain't going to make you no money back. Yeah, you know I mean that's that's your first mistake. Second mistake, you big dog in that hole scratching off, nigga, dude. I'ma just tuck mine in, nigga. Tuck your shit in, nigga. You ain't. Hey, man, y'all niggas is not hoes, bro. In my opinion, you not no hoe if you tuck your shit in in certain spots, bro. Like, gotta be careful, my nigga. At least you are still have that shit. That shit ain't no, ain't no motherfucking easy shit to come by, you did <laughs> so shit, nigga, I'ma tuck mine, you feel me, nigga gonna have to work for my shit, I ain't saying that I'm invincible, nigga, you just gonna have to do some shit 
to get my shit. It ain't gonna be no easy pickings for you, nigga. I was raised and bred by Jack Boys, you know what I mean? So I know what to look for and how this shit coming, you dig? So, bro, just tuck your shit in. They ain't even looking at you. When you walk in, they ain't even looking at you. But nah, you got that bitch. Big boy out, test out, doing scratch offs and shit. I know why you was back in that store. You was back in that store trying to hit for another 30 bands because you done thumb through that shit. You know what I mean? God, you fucked the money up. You didn't do what God intended you to do. So he placed them young gladiators on the same street you were, hungry. And oh, look at your ass in there, look, looking like a lick. You know what I mean? Come on, bro. Them niggas probably was just hungry. You know what I mean? And, and trying to take something. But to the niggas that be snatching the rapper chain, bro, like that shit, that shit one thing. But goddamn, my nigga. That's some bum and crummy shit, if you ask me. You know what I mean? Like, do you, man. But I don't own no nine nigga that was successful off chain snatch. You know what I mean? You got a little buzz, a little attention for them weeks or so. And then you slowly die down. Because the fact of the matter is, your music was poochies to begin with. You know what I mean? So, like I say, bitch, you next time had that walk of Texas Ranger on your motherfucking hip at all time. I know we in Texas, so it's going down out here, nigga. You know what I mean? So, nigga, nigga try to take something you like, but get your ass popped by any, whether it's a rapper chain or a motherfucking white, white boy in the F-150 filling up, nigga, you try to go rob his ass, he but pop the shit out your ass. It's Texas, nigga. It's going down. You know what I mean? Plain and simple. But yeah, buddy, next time just tuck your shit in, <laughs> you did, you did. Hey, yeah, mask going on clearance because you niggas ain't wearing them hoes, them hoes. I, I went to mad, it was Gucci mad, that was two dollars, nigga, I say two dollars. Yeah, that shit going on clearance because niggas ain't wearing them hoes no more, but that's it. I seen this shit the other day on the internet, motherfucking, a mom called Son's Killer, you know what I mean? And he on the phone. And she crying, talking about, you killed my son, you killed my son, you killed my son. Come to find out, the son tried to rob him. Like, you know what I'm saying? The most precious thing that we got on this motherfucking earth, nigga, is time and life, nigga, because you can't get them back. You feel me? So, that's the most thing. That's the, that's the shit that I care about the most, nigga. Time and motherfucking life, because you don't get that shit back. Some money, you can get it, fuck it off, get it, fuck it off, yeah, you know fuck it off, get it, fuck it off, yeah, you know fuck it off, get it, fuck it off, yeah, you know I mean, and, and shit, get the shit right back, yeah, you know I mean, spend the check and get it right back, you dig? But life, you can't do that. But I'm like, shit, if the nigga, the, the nigga might been dead if he didn't pop nothing, you know what I mean? So it's like, damn, bro, like, it's fucked up, but damn, mama, why is you calling this man and your son was in the wrong, you know what I mean? He tried to rob and he said the nigga shot at him first. You all on this ass, just confess, just confess. Like, nah, bro, fuck that shit. You got him. That shit crazy, man. Like, like I say, life is the most precious thing on earth, bro, but ain't no way in hell I would call the killer knowing that my people had some initiated that shit. They would, they would be here today if they didn't start that bullshit with them people. You know what I mean? So, that shit would crack. That shit would... Damn, chill out. I understand you hurt. I understand that shit, but you got to understand the motherfucking big... The bigger picture, nigga. Like, your kid was tripping, my nigga. Like, for real, for real. So, RP to that nigga, you know what I mean? Like, no disrespect. I ain't trying to disrespect step on no, no big toes. You feel me? So, I just don't understand that shit. Like, if I get down on a nigga and somebody off me, like, that's kind of my fault because I initiated it. You know what I mean? So, man, say, nigga better get their motherfucking mind right for real, for real. For real, for real. For real, for real. You know what I mean? So, last but not least, I want to get on this motherfucking shit that everybody been hitting me up about. These motherfucking rap lists that's going on. Uh. Hey, man, how you feel? They ain't even put you on the motherfucking list. Woo, 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 man. I don't give a fuck about no list, nigga. You know what I mean? Like, that ain't nothing but somebody's opinion. I can make a list right now. You know what I mean? And, and, and y'all ain't gonna like mine. 
I give it, I, I already know y'all ain't gonna like mine. It's gonna be niggas mad, niggas sad. You know what I mean? Cause half these niggas don't belong. You feel me? Like, come on, bro. That ain't nothing but somebody's opinion. So, and, and they do it for wild factors. You know what I mean? They do it for wild factors. Like, get a nigga uh, retweeting, reposting. You know what I mean? They get, they get a nigga mad, ruffle feathers because certain niggas ain't on that hoe. And like, me, I'm a rapper, bro. I ain't tripping about not being on no motherfucking list, nigga. It be the, it be more uh the consumer, the fans that be like, oh, why this nigga ain't on here? Or why you got this person at this list? Me as a rapper, when I look at that shit and I ain't on that list, I look at it like, damn, bro, you got to work hard. You got to get it in some more. Them niggas ain't seeing you like you supposed to be seeing. You feel me? So I don't never get mad at no list, but the rap list to me, in my opinion, everybody got one. You know what I mean? It's some bullshit. And that rap list ain't nothing but somebody's opinion. You know what I mean? So, y'all niggas chill out on that bullshit. Some of these niggas that making these lists ain't got no motherfucking name in these streets. Ain't got no name in the world. You know what I mean? They just, they big on the internet. You know what I mean? Don't nobody listen to them niggas. Don't know, they ain't got no real life followers, nigga. You know what I mean? So, Fuck that list, nigga, if you ask me. Even if I was on it, I wouldn't give a damn about no motherfucking list, nigga. That shit don't make or break nobody because everybody got a different list. You know what I mean? Everybody list going to be different, nigga. So, ask me. Top, top everything, nigga. <laughs> top everything. Ain't too many niggas done dropped as much shit that I done dropped in 2021. Oh, and we only halfway through this bitch. Oh, yeah. Just believe, nigga. For real. So, Fuck them rap lists. Uh, what else I wanted to talk about? I want to talk about motherfucking parents at these goddamn games. The the tournaments. Uh, we in basketball, summer league basketball and shit. I don't know how many of y'all got kids to play. I see a few of y'all got kids to play AU and shit like that. But this just for the motherfucking record, man. Say, so, hey, bro, parents, watch your motherfucking trash talking, bro. Watch your trash talking. See, me personally, I don't give a fuck about you talking about mine. You know what I mean? Or my nephew or any kids that I personally got out there hooping. Because I build them niggas up to don't even, you niggas don't even exist out there. You feel me? Y'all is in a bleacher trying to criticize the game, man. So that's how I raise mine. But I'm talking about, bro, Just I'm going to just give it down to you. So I... I was just at this tournament. I ran into my partner, Tito, pimping from the hood. Shout out Tito, doing big things in the community. But yeah, his kid out there hooping and shit. So he see one of the parents from, from my team. Mind, mind you, our team got from from high school to little bitty kids, you know what I mean? It's multiple teams. So he was like, you know that nigga? It one of the parents for the younger teams. I'm like, nah, I, I know he with us, but I don't know him. He's like, yeah, man, that nigga there, he, he do much, too much goddamn trash talking for me, man. Like, and, and Tito wasn't tripping. It's just that, nigga, we not tripping on that. But you might run into a parent that's not going to tolerate no bullshit or tolerate you talking down on their kid, nigga. Prime example, I'm a uh, couple of prime examples on this shit. I was at, uh, I just sit by myself at the motherfucking games. I like sitting by myself, off to myself. You know what I mean? I'm going to do my shit talking from afar. You feel me? So ain't nobody hearing exactly what I'm saying. If I'm yelling something, it's to motivate the boys. You feel me? So the reason why I stopped chilling with motherfuckers, like sitting in the crowd with people and doing what I do when I be talking, I was at my boy gang one time and just yelling, force him left, force him left, because we going we gonna to force a nigga to the side. You know what I mean? Us side. I'm not going to play you straight up on defense. I'm going to make you go to a side. You know what I mean? That's just my form of defense, how I was taught, nigga. So I'm going to veer right a little bit, veer left a little bit. Whichever hand you come up the court with, I'm going to tell them to veer them to the opposite side. Just, you know what I mean? So I'm telling my son, uh, force him left, force him left. Here come my mama. He can go left. I'm like, ah, right, bro. I ain't even say nothing to her because, first of all, I ain't going to disrespect no woman. Uh, be arguing with no woman, you know what I mean? That's uh, or a nigga anyway. Like I'm not gonna argue with y'all about this shit that I know what the fuck I'm talking about on this shit. You know what I mean? When it comes to this basketball shit. But anyway, so ever since then, I just like you know what? I'm gonna sit off to the motherfucking side, criticize the game in the bleachers like a spectator do. You know what I mean? And 
and because I'm not in the game anyway. Back to what I was saying, my nigga Tito was like, "Yeah, who the nigga? Who's that nigga in the Batman shirt? He tripping, bro. You know what I mean? That nigga. I was gonna talk to him. I'm like, he should have. You know what I mean? Because championship game going on today. My nigga's in it. I'm sitting over there, kind of off to the side. It's some parents next to me, but I ain't gonna say nothing disrespectful or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm turning the boys on like a motherfucker. You did so. Here this nigga come. He come stand right by me and holla. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, uh, number three ain't got nothing. You know what I mean? Y'all make them go out the game. Uh, if y'all, if everybody else on y'all team want to score, y'all got to get number three out the game. Make number three go out the game. Get them out the game. He ball hogging. Y'all team could win if he wasn't ball hogging. Y'all could be doing better if he wasn't ball hogging. Ain't like, I'm like, I just, I, I felt the freezing because there was some black folks right here next to me. They took number three with black. You know what I mean? Their mom and them was some niggas. So they ain't, they ain't, I already knew. So I kind of, boom, I went to the other side. I went to the bathroom first, then came back, went to the other side when I came back. I'm like, I'm not standing by this nigga. By the time I come back, they in a full-fledged argument over there, going back and forth, back and forth. And I'm like, damn, my nigga Tito said that shit. When he walked over here by me, I peeped the shit, and I'm not standing around for that shit. I'm not vouching for that shit. And you sitting over here arguing with a lady, bro. Like, get your bitch ass on. And he on our, like, he's with our younger group. He's not with the team that was actually playing. So the head of the damn tournament, they done stopped the motherfucking game. Hey, stop, stop. Everybody stop. He talked to the, the coaches, like, to get the parent that's over there tripping. These niggas looking like, we don't know him, like. Because they don't. His kid don't even play on their motherfucking team. They don't know who this nigga is. You know what I mean? We got multiple coaches and shit like that. So I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, parents, just chill at the motherfucking game. Or you can talk your shit or whatever, but talk to the much yourself, bro. Don't get to talking out loud because somebody ain't going to tolerate you talking about that kid like that. Especially if they, like, bro. Come on, my nigga. Some, sometimes, bro, them little kids be in third, fourth grade, and you motherfuckers grown in a bitch out there tripping with them people, tripping with each other about a motherfucking game, bro. Like, stop it. The day before, my nigga said they had to call the laws up there. It's a full-fledged fight with the parents. They fighting in the parking lot. Kids start fighting after the game because the energy done transferred on the court, bro. Like, bro, y'all got to, parents got to chill when they come to these motherfucking Football, basketball, soccer game. I don't give a fuck where you at. Y'all niggas be going too motherfucking far with with your, with your shit talking. And everybody ain't going to tolerate your shit talking. My advice, if you one of them shit talking parents, sit your bitch ass over here by me far ducked off. You know what I mean? Or if you do come by me and some other parents by me, don't come by with that bullshit. Because I'm not standing around vouching for that shit. That's what he wanted. Wanted me to stand right there to look like, yeah, he vouching for that. Boy, I ain't vouching for that shit. Get the fuck on with that shit, boy. You niggas. Parent be tripping, bro. Tripping, tripping, my nigga. So, they'll watch that shit, man. They'll watch that shit, dog. Y'all niggas cool the fuck down. You know what I mean? That shit, these niggas. Y'all trying to relive y'all y'all high school glory days through your kids and shit. And want to talk shit. And, yeah, like I say, every parent not standing for that shit. Everybody ain't me. Like me, I don't give a damn. Y'all say something about my kid, as long as it ain't disrespectful. If you talking about, oh, he, he can't shoot or, oh, make him go this way or the, if he can't. I'm not worried about that shit because I know what my little nigga uh, and my nephew limitations is on the motherfucking court. And so I'm not tripping on that shit. And I used to hoop, so I know how that shit go. But... Every mama not, uh, damn, damn sure them black mamas not going for that shit. And some of them daddy gonna go on your motherfucking grill, you say something about there. You know what I mean? I I understand that you's a nobody and you trying to push something. And you ain't even got no, you ain't even got no dog in this fight. You know what I mean? But you over here hooping and hollering around this motherfucker. Bro, get your bitch ass back, my nigga. Like, <sighs> parents, just chill out when it come to them games, my nigga. It is not that motherfucking serious, bro. You gonna get hurt. You know what I mean? One of them motherfuckers gonna, gonna put the hurting on your ass. Like, for real, for real. So.
Stop all that bitch ass shit. And niggas arguing with females like that, you look crazy, my nigga. So, but I'm only giving y'all a little bit at a time. You know what I mean? I don't want to take too much of your time. We really going down through the rig beef for the motherfucking record. Stop and stare at ENT.com. You know what I mean? Fuck with it. www.stopandstareent.com. I'm gonna put that shit down here somewhere. You know what I mean? Y'all like, subscribe to this motherfucking YouTube channel. This is just the beginning, nigga. We really going down through the fuck with me.